here. Are we good, Gregory? Uh, yes, we are. Okay. All right, I'm publishing to YouTube right now. Just a few moments. says it's preparing to live stream the webinar and it's sitting here. Can take a minute or so. Appreciate your patience. We'll blame it on the rain. It took yeah. me a while to <laughs> connect as well. And may I say, Larit, where would that oath of office be? <laughs> If you just opened your packet, if you have, if you just opened your packet, there should be um, two goldish colored pieces of paper there. I don't know. Okay. Uh, you don't see it? Do you have access to your email? Yes, I do. Look for a message from me this afternoon about 4.30. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Well, Zoom is still preparing the, the seminar for YouTube. Um, the, it's being broadcast and it's being recorded in the cloud. So the, the video will be available on our account, um, but it, it seems to be pretty slow to send it to YouTube. So Mayor and uh, everyone, if, you're, if you'd like to continue that, I think that'd be fine. It's up to you guys. Right, John, you okay if we go ahead and move this forward? Yes. Okay, all right. John, Jeffrey, you have I just had a question for Larry. We've been talking about the oath of office. Um, are you going to lead us through it as if you would? Yes, you, you just just like we always do. You'll repeat after me. Okay, thank you. Go ahead and get started. Uh, good evening, everyone. I would like to call the June twenty second, twenty twenty meeting of the University City City Council to order at approximately six thirty three. PM. Uh, to those of you who may be watching or later on may watch it uh, as a recording, we're having a little bit of a slight delay in getting it loaded up to YouTube. Uh, we apologize for any inconvenience as we again uh, chart, go through these unchartered waters. Uh, the meeting has been called to order. Uh, Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Councilmember Clay. Present. Councilmember McMahon. Here. Councilmember Hales. Here. Councilmember Kusick. Here. Councilmember Smotherson. Here. Mayor Crow. Here. Thank you very much. Before you, you have the agenda for tonight's meeting. There were no comments made during the study session. Is there a motion for the uh, agenda to be approved? So moved. Motion made by Mr. Kusick, seconded by Second. Mr. Hales. Is there any conversation or, or concerns, amendments? Hearing none, those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, the ayes have it. You have before you the approval of the minutes of the June 8th regular meeting of the city council. Is there a motion that those minutes be approved? So motion made by Mr. McMahon, seconded by Mr. Kusick. Is there a discussion, additions, or changes to be made to those minutes? Hearing none, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, the ayes have it. Uh, we now go to appointments. Mr. Kusick. Thank you, Mayor Crow. I would like to nominate Latrice Johnson for reappointment to the library board. Thank you very much. Is there a second? Thank you by Mr. McMahon. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Mr. Kusick. Thank you, Mayor Crow. I would also like to nominate our, yes, nominate Adam Stott for reappointment to the Green Practices Commission. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Mr. Hales. Is there a discussion? 
Hearing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Mr. Kusick. Thank you, Mayor. I would like to nominate John Solidor for reappointment to the Green Practices Commission. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Mr. McMahon. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Mr. Clay. Uh, I'd like to nominate Deja Scott for the uh, uh, Senior Commission. Is there a second to Mr. Clay's appointment? Seconded by Mr. McMahon. Is there discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Mr. Smotherson. I'd like to nominate um, Cindy Theory to, uh, for reappointment to the Arts and Letters Commission. A second. Second. Seconded by Mr. McMahon. Is there a discussion? Here, uh, yeah. Mr. Hales. That was, that was that was me, not Mr. McMahon. Seconding. Oh, I apologize. I apologize. I slipped. I slipped. I think Larie caught that. I could see it in her I eyes. I, I apologize. Sorry, Mr. Hales. Uh, Ms. Theory has been nominated with a second. Those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. The ayes have it. Uh, Mr. Smotherson. Uh, again, thank you, Mayor. Uh, I'm nominating John Tiemann for reappointment to the Arts and Legends Commission. Thank you very much. Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Kusick. Any discussion? Hearing none, those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The ayes have it. Uh, as of noon today. Mayor Crow. Mayor Excuse Crow. me. Councilmember McMahon has an appointment. I, skipped, I apologize. I, I, boy, I flew right past yeah. the pitching board. I apologize. Thank Mr. you, McMahon. Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. I would like to thank James Stutz for his service on the pension board and renominate him for appointment to both the uniform and non uniform pension board. There a second. Second. Thank you, by Mr. Hales. That's quite a way to thank someone to reappoint him. <laughs> he, he agreed, <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy to have him. <laughs> Those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Uh, according to the city clerk, I do not believe we had any city any citizen comments. Am I correct, Ms. Reese? That is correct. Thank you very much. We'll now move forward with new business. You have before you resolution 2020-4, uh, the carry aye. forward budget committed reserve funds. Mr. Rose, do you have comments you'd like to make? Honorable Mayor and Council Members, I would just like to state that these are funds uh, that are being recommended for carry forward. They're based upon projects that were funded in the fiscal year 2020 uh, budget, uh, but were not completed. And I, as well as uh, Finance Director Keith Cole, can respond to any questions that you might have. Thank you very much. Before we have questions, could we have a motion uh, uh, to, for Resolution 2020-4? Introduction by Mr. Kusick. Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. McMahon. Uh, are there questions of either Mr. Cole or of the city manager regarding resolution 2020-4? Hearing, hearing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. We have before us resolution 2020-5, the annual operating budget and capital improvement plan for fiscal year 2021. Is there a motion to approve? I'll make a motion. Motion to approve by Mr. Kusick, seconded by Mr. McMahon. Mr. Rose, are there comments you would like to make uh, for this budget? Yes, uh, Your Honor. Uh, the budget, <laughs> uh, honorable me, sorry. Uh, the budget was prepared on a worst case scenario basis. Since April 30th, new information has been received that leads me to believe the reduction in our revenues will not be as severe as uh, expected. As such, I am recommending these amendments. And it, uh, if you can bear with me, I would like to read the proposed amendments into the record. Up under municipal taxes, page 12, increase from 3,776,000 to 4,690,000. Uh, 
up under capital sales tax, page 12, increased from 1,756,000 to 2,050,000. Local use tax, page 13, increased from 640,000 to 853,000. Park sales tax, page 13, increased from 700,000 to 845,000. Fire sales tax, page 14, increased from 338,000 to 440,000. Economic development sales tax, page 14, increased from 334,000 to 500, I'm sorry, to 457,000. State sales tax, state gas tax, page 16, increased from 711,000 to 800,000. County road tax, page 17, increased from 472,000 to 623,000. For expenditures, up under fleet operations, increasing vehicle maintenance by 100,000 line item. Up under fleet operations, page 58, increasing vehicle insurance by 25,000. Up under fleet operations, page 58, increase the general fund transfer uh, by $55,000. For solid waste fund, transfer 70,000 from solid waste reserves to fleet maintenance. Up under general fund parks operations, page 33, delete one tree trimmer. This is a vacant position. Up under finance, page 31, delete an accountant position. This is also a vacant position. Up under parks, increase aquatics part-time by 70,000, page 160. Up under parks, page 164, increase Centennial Commons part-time by 60,000. Up under golf course, page 167, increase part-time by 85,000. Up under fleet, page 58, add professional services and audit for $23,000. The total uh, adjustments that are being proposed for revenue, a total 2,031,000 for expenditures, total $264,628. These are included in the 2020-5 resolution or are these additions to that resolution? These, Honorable Mayor, these are additions to that resolution. Okay, so, we, so uh, prior, I know Mr. Smotherson has a question. It would be my understanding that if this resolution is before us uh, as introduced, then we'll need a motion to amend that resolution per uh, the uh, language that was just given to us by Mr. Rose. Is there a motion to amend per the language given to us by Mr. Rose? Is that, a, is that Mr. Smotherson a yes? Yes. Thank you. Is there, is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Kusick. We now have the amendment provided to us by Mr. Rose. Mr. Smotherson, questions? Uh, we're, we're open for discussion, correct? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Absolutely. I, I just wanted to verify this. And, 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 and again, um, everything, I just wanted to confirm the, the budget amendment items that uh, Mr. Rose just presented. Was that in the packet? that was it open to the public to see or and i just want to make sure that we're doing this correct if you understand what i'm asking um or did that require a 24-hour um you know time frame before was that part of the packet that the public was aware of and be, could actually view and this is what i'm asking is that necessary in this case i don't probably mayor council member smotherson um, my understanding is no, that it is not necessary because it's a part of the budget discussions. So once that discussion to open up, amendments can be uh, recommended. Um, that will be up to the uh, mayor and council to consider if you want to accept uh, those amendments. But I would also uh, ask for our city attorney, John Mulligan, to, uh, to chime in since this is a, I, I believe your, your question is related to sunshine matters. Yes, the, the uh, item does uh, properly appear on the agenda, so the public has been apprised uh, that the council will be discussing this item. The specific uh, amendments that the council uh, may make to that resolution do not uh, have to be in the uh, packet. That, that's not actually, a packet is, is not required under the Sunshine Law. Um, 
all that is required is a the uh, uh, tentative agenda for the evening, and that has been provided. Okay, thank you. And a little bit of clarification for myself: most all of the most, if not all of the of the uh, uh, changes made in the amendment you provided were discussed with us at the last meeting. Am I correct? Uh, we had when, uh, when we, honorable mayor. That is correct. I believe that I indicated that there are going to be several uh, amendments that I would be bringing forward. I, I simply cannot recall if I, if I actually highlighted each line item the way I just went through them, uh, but I do believe that I have distributed that information beforehand uh, to respond to any questions that you might have regarding those amendments. I, I, understand. I understand. We have before us an amendment to the uh, to resolution 2020-5. Are there additional questions regarding the amendment? Mr. Smotherson. Last, last question. Uh, and then just for clarification, I, I do have three amendment, uh, budget amendment items that I have. I just wanna make sure I, I present them correctly because I just wanna put them on the record. Uh, I've talked to the city manager about them and, and we've agreed on having a study session to go over how these can be applied to the next year's budget. And so I just wanna put them on record and just making sure that I, I do that at the appropriate time. And is that this the time or you will indicate when that is? Well, if you would like to, if, if you would like to, um, to amend the budget, you would need to do it at this time. Uh, okay. norm, normally when we have amended the budget as council members, uh, normally, you know, for us to have a, well, shall we say, a, a discussion about it, normally the members that come with, particularly if you, in your particular cases, this was an email that went out to a number of folks. Uh, uh, normally, if you're if you're requesting funds to be uh, spent, then you then you're, it's your obligation to come to us and tell us where where the money's coming from. Either sure, there's sure. some commensurate there's there's a, some commensurate cuts or there's money, more money being borrowed from the uh, general fund. It was my understanding that uh, you, had a, you had three items that you would like to have discussed at some point in time, and that this was going to be a study session to talk about the pros and cons uh, sometime during the, the third quarter. Uh, if you would like to amend it and put it in the budget, uh, my only comment I would make to you, uh, Mr. Smotherson, is you may have more difficult time getting uh, uh, votes to go for an amendment that is going to spend money without telling us where the money is coming from. And I'm not, uh, that's, that's just right. My, and that's, a, and that was, and as I indicated, yes, sir. And as I indicated, indicated the city manager, um, and both of us in our discussion agreed that, um, he was going to set up a, a study session so that he could verify how that would be done in reference to uh, allocating funds for this. Um, and, and, and again, we had that discussion. I, I, Mr. Rose, I don't know if you would, if you wanted to explain that. I, I can, Honorable Mayor, Council Member Smotherson, I believe that uh, the council member simply wants to place on the record uh, that staff will come back uh, with study session items for uh, three programs. Uh, one was the senior program, a second right. one was the Explorers program, and I can't remember the third. The, youth, the youth employment the, program. Youth employment program. That's correct, uh, right. So it's certainly my intention to add those uh, items to our study sessions uh, calendar and to bring those forward to the mayor and council for consideration. So Mr. Smotherson, there is no then amendment to the budget at the present time, am I correct? You're good? Uh, if that's if that's appropriate, yes, yes. Uh, you 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 have my commitment as well that there will be a study session on those three items. I think they're all three worthy programs. I think we all probably have to figure out uh, how we prioritize the budget. Pro you know, let, I mean, what I'd sure. have to say, to, and I think I think everybody probably will nod their head on our little uh, uh, Brady Bunch uh, format that we have here, and that. This budget is going to have so many amendments throughout the year because of what we're going through that right. uh, taking something in or out is probably going to be pretty commonplace. It's probably going to drive our auditors uh, crazy next year because I know they don't like us to have as many budget amendments. I'm sure Mr. Cole doesn't either. So hearing that, uh, we have before us an amendment to 
Resolution 2020-5. So first, may we have a, may we have a vote on the amendment uh, that has been presented to us by uh, Mr. Rose, but was introduced by council. Uh, those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. So the, the budget as amended is now before you. It's been introduced. There's been discussion. Those in favor of 2020-5 annual operating budget and capital improvement plan as amended, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. We now have before us resolution number 2020-6, which is the election results from the June 2nd municipal elections. Since Mr. Hales and Mr. Smotherson were on the ballot, it probably would not be good for the two of them to introduce this resolution. So may I ask one of uh, the other council members to please uh, introduce Mr. McMahon. They're seconded by Mr. Kusick. Thank you very much. Uh, is there any discussion? Hearing none, those in favor of passing resolution number 2020-6, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you very much. We'll now move into council reports and business. Uh, is there, I, I do have just a couple of comments I would like to make during this section. Is there anyone else who has comments they would like to make under uh, council reports and business? Um, hearing none, if I can just very uh, quickly go through a couple of things. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Smotherson. I, I, and I apologize, Mayor. I, I, I was, I just simply wanted to remind all of our, uh, all of my colleagues, each one of you, Arts and Letters is in need of candidates. And I'm just, just a, just a simple reminder that Arts and Letters will be in need of candidates. And I believe four slots, actually, but Miss. But our city clerk, Ms. Reed, can correct me if that's wrong. And that's all I had, sir. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. And that actually, that actually brings me to a couple of things I'd like to say as we move forward uh, in seating our new council member and, and going with um, uh, liaison uh, assignments and the like. Uh, a couple of things I would like us to, uh, to work on during the next several months is as we are going through our appointments and our reappointments to our commissions, uh, I have asked the city manager uh, before, and I'd like to bring it up again, that I do have concerns about our conflict of interest policy as it relates to our citizens sitting on our commissions. I think that it doesn't, it doesn't quite address uh, the concerns that I have. Uh, and I may, I may be solely alone in that. That's why once we get through this process and we have a chance to either do a study session on it or just uh, make it a, a, a council discussion item, I really do think that we need to uh, further address conflicts of interest with some of our citizens on our commissions. Uh, the next thing I would like to say is that Lorit and I will be getting out to you in the next couple of weeks uh, the list of the commissions that... Uh, are available for each of you to attend. And we will do the same process that we have done in the past, which is to have you rank those and then get those back to me so that we can make those uh, appointments. And then at the next meeting, we will also uh, need to elect a mayor uh, pro tem as well. So with that being said, that will come up uh, during our next meeting. If uh, Larit can put that on the agenda, please. Are there any council comments for this portion of the agenda prior to our adjourning sine die? Uh, hearing none, uh, may I have a motion please that we adjourn sine die? Motion by Mr. Kusick, seconded by Mr. McMahon. Uh, those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Uh, I believe, Lori, we have a separate uh, invitation. Do, do we have another, or we're staying right in? We stay here. In, we're staying um, right in, so we are now going to, let's see. Miss Alita should be joining <coughs> right about okay. now. Just give her a moment.
Unbelievable. Your microphone is hot for you. Oh, sure <laughs> uh, Miss uh, Lorene, I've I've lost that again. Okay, we we'll, we can still we can still I, do I mean, it. We can we can do it. Can. Yeah, you just have to you just have to listen to me carefully. But if I'm going to try and send it to you as well. Yeah, do that for me, please, because um, this is I'm I'm just not. I'm having a Bill, hard time. You have an issue Can too. I, Bill, do you have an issue? You? No, no. I th I think that uh, Ms. Klein is. Yeah, I just spoke with her. She should be terrible. here. Okay, I didn't get anything yet. So. Okay. Philip, are we being broadcasting? Uh, we are not live to YouTube. We're broadcasting in the sense that we're, our meeting is live and it's recording, but it is not going out to YouTube as we speak, no. Is, what was the other one? Uh, we have a, we do have a separate meeting for the closed session, if that's what you're asking. Oh, no, I mean, it was the, uh, was there just a problem aligning it with YouTube? So it correct, correct, out? yeah. Okay. yeah the, our connection was timing out. Mr. Smotherson, you should have an email from me. Is Council Member Elect Klein? She's trying to join. I did just speak with her, so I know she's trying to connect. Thank you. You're welcome. Philip, may I ask, do you see Alita in the public room? Which name, what is her full name? Alita Klein, Alita Klein. Um, no, did she enter the, the attend, as an attendee with that name or could she no, be under I, another? She should be coming in as a panelist. As a panelist? Yeah, she should be, she should be done. I don't see her in the list of attendees. Yeah, I don't see her on panelists. Yeah. Might be yeah. easier just to reissue her another uh, join the meeting. So if you send her another invitation. Yeah. I was just speaking with her. She I thought she had it there. And since we are um, waiting, may I say hello to everyone that is watching and, and specifically to Paulette Carr. I saw her in the uh, audience as well. No idea to see how who is in the audience, but I'm glad. There we go. <laughs> it took me a minute. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Alita. Hi. Hi. We, uh, 
Welcome, welcome. Uh, we will now move forward with the swearing in of the council members from the most recent uh, municipal election. Uh, the first council member to be sworn in by the city clerk is Wayne Smotherson from the third ward. Ms. Reese. Mr. Smotherson, if you could unmute your phone and would you please raise your right hand and repeat after me in stating your name after the I. I. I, Blaine Smotherson. Do solemnly swear that I possess all of the qualifications and am not subject to any of the disqualifications named in the charter for the office I am about to assume. Do solemnly swear that I possess all of the qualifications and am not subject to any of the disqualifications named in the charter for the office I am about to assume that I will support the Constitution and the laws of the United States and of the state of Missouri and the charter and ordinances of University City. That I will support the Constitution and the laws of the United States and of the state of Missouri and the charter and ordinances of University City. And that I will faithfully and conscientiously discharge the duties of the office I'm about to assume with impartiality and justice and that I will faithfully and consciously discharge the duties of the office I am about to assume with impartiality and justice. Thank you very much, Council Member Smotherson. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Smotherson. I can, I can now mute. <laughs> Ms. Klein. Yes. Rita, you ready? I'm ready. Ms. Klein, would you please raise your right hand? and repeat after me, inserting your name after the I. I. I, Alita Klein. Do solemnly swear that I possess all of the qualifications and am not subject to any of the disqualifications named in the charter for the office I am about to assume. Do solemnly swear that I possess all of the qualifications and am not subject to any of the disqualifications named in the charter for the office I am about to assume that I will support the Constitution and the laws of the United States and the state of Missouri and the charter and ordinances of University City. That I will support the Constitution and the laws of the United States and of the state of Missouri and the charter and the ordinances of University City. And that I will faithfully and conscientiously discharge the duties of the office I'm about to assume with impartiality and justice. And that I will faithfully and consciously discharge the duties of the office I am about to assume with impartiality and justice. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations welcome. and welcome. Thank you. Mr. Hales. Mr. Hales swearing in. Mr. Hales, would you please raise your right hand and repeat after me? I. I, Jeff Hales. Do solemnly swear that I possess all of the qualifications and am not subject to any of the disqualifications named in the charter for the office I am about to assume. Do solemnly swear that I possess all of the qualifications and am not subject to any of the disqualifications named in the charter for the office I am about to assume. That I will support the Constitution and the laws of the United States and the state of Missouri and the charter and ordinances of University City that I will support the Constitution and the laws of the United States and the state of Missouri and the charter and ordinances of University City. And that I will faithfully and consciously discharge the duties of the office I'm about to assume with impartiality and justice. And that I will faith, faithfully and conscientiously discharge the duties of the office I am about to assume with impartiality and justice. Congratulations, thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Hales. Uh, to uh, Alita, we are so pleased to have you join us. To Buane and Jeff, it's nice to see you back after that uh, brief interlude there while we were adjourned. Um, <laughs> uh, we will now reconvene this meeting of the, this June 22nd, 2020 meeting of the University City Council. Uh, would you please call the roll? Council Member Klein. Here. Councilmember McMahon. Here. Councilmember Hales. Here. Councilmember Kusick. Here. Councilmember Smotherson. Here. Councilmember Clay. Present. Mayor Crow. 
here. Thank you very much. Now I have a public hearing for the 2021 Community Development Block Grant allocation. This hearing has now been opened at 7.07 p.m. It's my understanding from the city clerk that we have had no, no requests or comments made for this public hearing. Am I correct, Ms. Reese? That is correct. Having no comments or anyone uh, requesting to speak, this hearing will be closed at 7.07 .07 p.m. We now have before us bill number 9407. Who would like to introduce? Mr. Smotherson. Uh, Ms. Reese, would we have the, may we have the first reading? An ordinance amending chapter 400.070 of the Municipal Code of the City of University City, Missouri, relating to the official zoning map by amending said map so as to change the classification of property at 711 Kingsland Avenue from public activity district to planned development commercial district and establishing permitted land uses and developments therein containing a savings clause and providing a penalty. Thank you very much. We now have before us bill number 9408. Who would like to introduce? Introduced by Mr. Clay. Ms. Reese, would you please give the first reading? An ordinance fixing the compensation to be paid to city officials and employees as enumerated herein from and after its passage and repealing ordinance number 7120. Thank you very much. Uh, do uh, any members of council have comments that they would like to make uh, during open session? Mr. Hales. You are muted. Sorry, uh, I, I have two. One, uh, just would like to welcome Ms. Klein um, and uh, looking forward to the next, uh, hopefully four or four years with you. Um, and two, I just wanted to say for uh, some, some of the folks in the first ward, uh, I'm not sure exactly when it happened, but I think sometime between Friday and Monday morning, uh, North and South got repaved, which was uh, something that uh, I know a lot of people have been asking about for quite some time. So that got done and um, hopefully that will uh, make things smoother along that stretch uh, road. So thank you. Thank you, Mayor Crow. And I also would like to welcome Ms. Klein to the, the council. It's nice to have someone with me in the second ward once again. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Crow. Uh, I, I too want to welcome Ms. Klein. Well, no, let me say it this way. Council member Klein. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to the council and uh, and get used to that name <laughs> and that title. Um, but also I wanted to thank all of the uh, third ward residents that voted for me and, I, and, and, and now I'm starting my second term. And I just wanna let you know that um, I, I'm going to be even more serious about this term than I was the first term. And I'm looking forward to all of the possibilities and I'm speaking to my colleagues and that is, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping and hoping that we can work together and push forward and do some incredible things. And I'm not even talking about four years, I'm talking about in the next two years so that um, council members like Steve McMahon and Tim Cusick and our Mayor Crow and, uh, and council member Stacy Clay can all claim what great and wonderful things we've done at the end of their first term. So let's please all work together and let's do some great and wonderful things because there are uh, the, the, the possibilities are endless. I mean, you know, so again, thank you all. And I look forward to the next four years. Thank you. Thanks. Mr. Clay. Uh, yes, thank you, Mayor Crow. Um, I also wanna join my colleagues in welcoming uh, Council Member Klein uh, to uh, I think what you will find to be the most intense volunteer position you ever had, but uh, <laughs> probably among the most rewarding. Um, and you are uh, working with a tremendous group of people. Um, as you heard probably even earlier this evening, we don't all agree. 
the way we disagree, I believe, is always productive. Um, and let's be clear, we agree most of the time, but is productive and helps move us, I think, the city forward. And, and we benefit the conversation, the dialogue, and the exchange. So uh, welcome you uh, to the council. Thank you very much, Mr. McMahon. And I, I, I would like to welcome uh, Council Member Klein to uh, as well. I, I don't want to miss my chance. And I know that her, her uh, focus on city government began with a, uh, a, a, an issue that affected her family and it's grown to now be public service. And so that is wonderful to see. Um, and I'm just so glad that she can also join us much like I did on my first night with a closed session. So welcome to the park. <laughs> Wow. Well, let's hope we, uh, wow. I'm not sure how to reply to that one. I think I may just let that one just uh, go. Uh, Alita, again, I think I've welcomed you. It's nice to, it's nice to be able to work with you. Uh, I think those, uh, do, you, do you have any comments you'd like to make, Alita? Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I just want to say that I'm really excited to be here and it's a different experience being on this side. I spent a lot of time on the other side of the dais um, speaking to council and just listening. And um, this is a really great opportunity for me. I'm really excited. Um, I also want to thank the members of, I want to thank everyone who came and voted on June 2nd and also those who sent in absentee ballots on um, for the election. And I especially want to thank the voters of the second ward who have entrusted me to take on this responsibility and represent them. I'm really um, humbled and grateful for this opportunity. I'm also really enthusiastic about doing my part in promoting um, an ongoing dialogue in our community and encouraging everyone to give their input. It's really important to me, so thank you. <laughs> you want another bite of the apple? <laughs> no, 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 just very, very quickly, Mayor, before you, you know, before you send us off and into the next closed session, you know, one of the things uh, to the city manager Rose, what would be great to welcome Lita, uh, our new council member, Ms. Klein, to, to the council would be new chairs in the council chamber. <laughs> but I would miss I, the old ones. <laughs> I thought he was just going to give her a lapel pin. Heck, she's getting the whole chair. Wow. <laughs> I also want to say that it will be an honor to work with all of you. Thank you. If we can now, I would like to, I would request a motion that we go into closed session according to Missouri Revised Statute 610.021, legal actions, causes of actions, or litigation involving a public governmental body and any confidential privilege communications between that public body and its representatives or attorneys. Is there such a motion? So moved. Motion by Mr. Hales. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Mr. Kusick. Uh, uh, Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Council Member McMahon? Aye. Council Member Hales? Aye. Council Member Kusick? Aye. Council Member Smotherson? Aye. Council Member Clay? Aye. Council Member Klein? Aye. Mayor Crow? Aye. Thank you very much. I believe that you all know that you leave this meeting, and then there's a link to go in, into the closed session. Uh, everyone, if we, you know, probably three, three to four, three to four minutes, then we'll start the uh, closed session. Thank you very much. Thank you.